proliferation of mobile devices is causing IT to quickly lose, lose control of managing end-user experience of critical business apps, while at the same time, IT is being charged with ensuring the success of the company's mobile strategy. Attorneys FPI platform addresses these exact challenges by providing a user-centric application and business context, app and business context, to mobile device management. Let's take a deeper look at what that mouthful actually means and how we achieve that. Attorney provides a comprehensive monitoring platform for all types of iOS and Android applications, native or web, or even those that are developed by, that are delivered via virtual environments. This means that Eternity is capable of performing the same level of end user activity monitoring on mobile devices as it does on physical and virtual devices, providing organizations with what they've called a clear visibility into how and when users are using their mobile devices and probably more important, for what purposes. As with physical and virtual desktops, Eternity continuously collects detailed device, network, and service metrics that are often the source of mobile app performance and availability problems. And with this visibility into both application and device performance information, IT organizations can proactively detect performance issues, isolate mobile-specific problems, and dramatically reduce the time it takes to repair these problems. And finally, and perhaps the most important of all, by leveraging an approach that unifies physical, virtual, and mobile end user experience management in a single platform, today's IT organizations can support the rise of mobile apps and bring your own device initiatives with the same platform that supports their Windows 7 and soon Windows 8 if they go that way, desktop initiatives, as well as their VDI programs and projects. Ravi, let's go mobile for a few minutes and demonstrate some of this live. We're currently viewing the endpoint or user search form of the Eternity Management Console. This form enables the help desk and IT ops and application owners to rapidly search for any end user device, including physical workstations, Citrix or terminal servers, virtual desktops or Citrix sessions, and of course mobile devices, in this case smartphones and tablets. Note the organizational information attached to each user that is integrated from the corporate directory. Ravi, let's filter by mobile device. We see the organization as both iOS and Android devices. Ravi, let's select one of the Android devices. The first thing we glean from the user's dashboard is that he's using a mobile device as opposed to a laptop or accessing a, set or accessing a session on a Citrix box or even using a virtual desktop. We also see information about his device, including the manufacturer, the model, and the operating system, in this case, Android V or 2. The dashboard provides us with a time machine capability, enabling us to get a real-time snapshot as well as a historical view of the user's status and experience and activity at any time. A quick glance shows us that he's using one mobile application, the Mobile Box app, and that he's having no performance issues with this app. Note the user activity and associated performance metrics with those activities. Ravi, let's drill down into the host resource view. This view is used to identify whether device, network, or service issues are responsible for the poor mobile application performance a user might be experiencing. Poorest performing resources are always sorted and presented first. We immediately see that the signal strength of mobile and Wi-Fi networks are both fine, and as they presented first, we can conclude that all other device, network, and service resources are performing well as they are. Viewing the mobile device attribute demonstrates the breadth of attributes that Eternity can collect, including geographic location, OS version, carrier, whether the mobile device is connected to the mobile or Wi-Fi network, and much, much more. Now, each of these attributes is used not only for reporting, but also for incident classification or probable cause analysis, something we will demonstrate later in a slightly different context. Ravi, for the last segment of our mobile demo, let's use the Performance Navigator to get an organizational level comparative view of mobile application performance. 
In this chart, we're comparing the end user performance of the mobile email application across different Android and iOS versions. And we see that the email application is performing almost evenly across the OS versions, and that iOS is the most common platform for this application. No surprises there. Now, grouping by mobile operating system is only an example. We could have grouped by device make, by SSID, by location, by in-call, for example.